Icarus's wings of wax and feathers would be about as useful as a granite parachute when it comes to flying here on Earth, but ours aren't the only skies in the solar system. I'm Alexander Wynn, and this is Slice of Science. Titan is the largest of Saturn's 82 moons. It's even bigger than the planet Mercury. It is, by scientific standards, a heckin' chonker. It's also the only moon in our solar system with a thick atmosphere. And Titan's atmosphere is thick, about 50% thicker than Earth's, and it has less gravity than even our own moon, only about 14% of Earth's. Low gravity and thick atmosphere means that a visit to Titan could reasonably include renting a pair of wings, flapping your arms, and taking to the skies like a bird. For those of us with not-so-great coordination and about as much flight experience as a Galapagos tortoise, Titan also offers the only water landing in the solar system outside of Earth. Well, technically it would be a liquid methane landing, but it would still be better than crashing into the rock-like ice that it flows through. These rivers and lakes are oddly the most Earth-like landscape in the solar system, even though Titan has a surface temperature of only negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is great news if you're flying under your own power, but bad news if you're not a tardigrade. 